The budget is called Building a Better Ontario, but there's actually less building than last year when it comes to homes. Housing starts were at 89,000 last year. This year, they're expected to be slightly lower. A big drop from the high in 2021 of 100,000 and down from 2022. You know, look, I've been around long enough to see interest rate cycles up and down, economies up and down, housing starts up and down. Despite the numbers, the finance minister says housing is a top priority for this government and has been for years. And what we won't waver on is our commitment to find more ways to get more houses built and condos and student living and senior living and, and supportive housing. But even going forward, future years still aren't projected to hit 100,000 new homes a year, well below the government's target. I have to say this is another catastrophic failure. This is a government who says they're in the housing business. They failed Ontarians once again. I mean, this is a budget of no, and my biggest disappointment is just the failure to address the housing crisis. We know the housing crisis is the number one issue for Ontarians, and it's what's driving the affordability crisis. Well, it's deeply concerning. The NDP wanted to see more for affordable housing. People are looking for better. They're looking for better when it comes to homes that they can afford, and this, go this government and this budget is not delivering. Some housing changes the government is making with this budget, empowering more municipalities to charge a vacant home tax beyond just Toronto, Hamilton and Ottawa that already can, and allowing municipalities to lower taxes for developers building purpose-built rentals. The budget also mentions modular housing as a way to speed up development, with parts built off-site and moved, but it makes no commitment. The government has been talking about its housing goal for years already, going back to the previous housing minister. A re-elected PC government will build 1.5 million homes over the next 10 years. The next phase in our bold and transformative plan to get 1.5 million homes built in the next 10 years. And at least 1.5 million homes by 2031. But that's looking increasingly less possible, including with this budget. Loretta Radakop, CBC News, Toronto.